Antilleries, very, very famous as a diving island. We have lots of GoPros, so dive masks for interns. And with that, a lot of people sign up with UDC because they want the extra training, the extra quality. And for that, we then also expect a little bit more from our dive masters. Coral Watch is a way to track coral bleaching. It's a citizen science project that was started in collaboration with the University of Queensland. Designed to be very easy in the way that anyone can do it. So with that, if we're going to train these dive professionals, if we can spark an interest or raise a little bit of awareness about some issues that corals are going through, then maybe you can spark a little bit more of a passion in the environmental side. They are the, the basis of it. Even as they grow and they live, they form these calcium carbonate skeletons. With these skeletons, the coral is building structures on the reef. And with that, it builds what's known as a nursery habitat. The saying always goes, if you have a very complex environment, and you're a tiny fish, and there's a very big barracuda which is coming after you, if you can hide and swim through all these complex structures, then you're more likely to survive. For me, it's important to teach other people about the environment, as it is to go out and discover, spend time with the environment yourself.